from airplanes with massive rotors mounted on their wings, to transform them into helicopters, to flying glider tanks soaring through the skies like kites, these are some of the wildest and most unconventional aircraft designs ever dreamed up by mankind. Scaled Composites Proteus The Proteus is an unconventional aircraft originally designed as a high-altitude, long-endurance telecommunications relay platform for deployment over major cities. Built by Scaled Composites, it first took to the skies on 1998 from the company's flight test facility in Mojave, California. Since then, it has proven its versatility, supporting a wide range of missions worldwide. What sets the Proteus apart is its unusual tandem wing, twin boom design, along with two centrally mounted turbofan engines. This distinctive configuration allows for flexible modifications, enabling the aircraft to serve in roles such as atmospheric research, surveillance, reconnaissance, and commercial imaging. The aircraft's core systems are derived from standard general aviation components, ensuring remarkable reliability and lower operating costs compared to other experimental aircraft. Designed for high-altitude endurance, the Proteus can cruise between 50,000 and over 63,000 feet while remaining airborne for more than 12 hours with a typical 2,200-pound payload. The Scaled Composites White Knight 2 The Scaled Composites White Knight 2 is a uniquely designed carrier aircraft built to launch suborbital spacecraft. Unlike conventional aircraft, White Knight 2 features a twin fuselage structure resembling two aircraft joined at the wing. This unusual configuration allows it to carry payloads, such as Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 2, between its twin fuselages on a central pylon. Constructed primarily from lightweight carbon composite materials, White Knight 2 boasts an impressive wingspan of 141 feet, making it larger than a Boeing 737. The high-mounted straight wing provides the lift needed for carrying heavy loads to high altitudes before releasing them for independent flight. It features a dual cockpit system, with each fuselage housing its pressurized cockpit though only one is actively used for piloting. The aircraft is powered by four Pratt and Whitney Canada PW 308 turbofan engines mounted in pairs under the wing. Designed for air launch operations, White Knight 2 ascends to around 50,000 feet before releasing its payload. This launch method reduces fuel consumption compared to traditional rocket launches. MIL V-12 Homer The MIL V-12 Homer is a legendary oversized Soviet helicopter that holds the title of the largest helicopter ever built. Developed during the 1960s by the MIL Moscow helicopter plant, the V-12 was designed to transport heavy military loads, such as large rocket parts, across the vast distances of the Soviet Union. Its sheer size and unconventional design make it one of the most extraordinary aircraft ever created. With a rotor span of 116 feet and a length of 99 feet, the V-12 was powered by two turboshaft engines, each capable of generating 11,400 horsepower. It had a maximum payload capacity of 20 tons, which was far beyond what any other helicopter at the time could lift. The V-12 had six bladed rotors on each of its two main rotors and a central fuselage that housed the cockpit and cargo area. Though it only completed two prototypes, the V-12 demonstrated the potential for massive lifting capabilities. Its test flights, which took place in the 1960s and early 1970s, were a spectacle. Despite its impressive performance, the V-12 was ultimately not put into production due to high operational costs and the rise of more efficient cargo aircraft like the Mi-26. The Mil V-12 Homer remains a symbol of Soviet-era engineering ambition, standing as one of the most extreme and massive helicopters ever conceived. Strato Launch Rock 
The Strato Launch Rock is the world's largest aircraft by wingspan, designed for air launching rockets into orbit. Its striking twin fuselage design makes it look like two planes merged into one, just like the scaled composites White Knight 2. With a wingspan of 385 feet, it's wider than a football field, and it even dwarfs the legendary Antonov An-225. Built primarily from lightweight composites, ROC is powered by six Pratt and Whitney PW 4056 turbofan engines, repurposed from Boeing 747S. Its twin fuselages each have their own cockpit, though only the right one is used for flight operations. The space between the fuselages supports a central pylon, designed to carry and release rockets for orbital missions. ROC's mission is to carry payloads to 35,000 feet before releasing them for independent spaceflight, making satellite launches more flexible and cost-effective. Unlike traditional rockets that launch from the ground, this airborne method avoids weather delays and reduces fuel consumption. Its sheer size and unconventional structure make ROC an engineering marvel, built for a future where air-launched spaceflight becomes routine. With its unmistakable silhouette, the Stratolaunch ROC stands as one of the most bizarre yet revolutionary aircraft ever built. Airbus Beluga XL The Airbus Beluga XL is one of the most visually striking aircraft in the world, thanks to its massive, bulbous fuselage, which gives it the appearance of a flying whale. Designed as a successor to the original Airbus Beluga, the XL model is based on the Airbus A330-200, heavily modified to transport oversized aircraft components between Airbus factories. Its most unusual feature is the enlarged upper fuselage, which extends well above the cockpit creating a cavernous cargo bay capable of carrying two Airbus A350 wings. Measuring 207 feet long with a wingspan of 198 feet, the Beluga XL is both larger and more powerful than the original Beluga. Unlike most cargo planes, the Beluga XL's cockpit is positioned lower than the cargo holds, allowing the nose section to remain fixed while the massive front cargo door opens upward. This design enables faster loading and unloading of oversized parts. Powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent 700 engines, the Beluga XL has a range of 2,485 miles at max payload. Its distinctive design, coupled with its painted-on smile, makes it one of the most recognizable and unusual aircraft in the skies. Sikorsky X-Wing The Sikorsky X-Wing was an experimental aircraft concept that aimed to combine the vertical takeoff and landing ability of a helicopter with the high-speed performance of a fixed-wing aircraft. Developed in the late 1970s and early 1980s, the X-Wing was based on a heavily modified S-72 Rotor Systems research aircraft and featured an unconventional rigid four-bladed rotor that functioned as both a helicopter rotor and a fixed wing. Its strange design allowed it to take off and hover like a helicopter, but once in flight, the rotor could be locked in place, turning it into a set of fixed wings. At that point, traditional jet engines would provide forward thrust, allowing it to fly at speeds far beyond conventional helicopters. This innovative concept aimed to eliminate the speed limitations of rotorcraft while maintaining VTOL capability. To achieve this, the X-Wing relied on compressed air jets at the rotor tips instead of traditional mechanical controls, reducing drag and enabling smooth transition between flight modes. However, technical challenges, including stability issues and propulsion limitations, led to the project's cancellation in 1988 before it ever flew under its own power. Despite its failure, the X-Wing concept influenced later hybrid VTOL aircraft, including tilt rotors like the V-22 Osprey and next-generation high-speed rotorcraft. Convair F 2Y Sea Dart The Convair F 2Y Sea Dart was a highly unusual supersonic water-based fighter developed in the early 1950s. 
It remains the only seaplane to ever break the sound barrier, though its radical design ultimately proved impractical. Unlike traditional jet fighters, the Sea Dart was designed with hydro skis instead of wheels, allowing it to take off and land on water. This was meant to solve a problem faced by the US Navy, how to operate supersonic aircraft without needing massive aircraft carriers. The concept was that sea darts could be deployed from bays or coastal waters. The aircraft had a delta wing design, with twin J-34 turbojet engines mounted high on the fuselage to avoid water spray. During takeoff, the retractable hydro skis would extend, lifting the aircraft out of the water before transitioning into flight. However, this system caused violent vibrations and instability, making it difficult to control. During testing, one prototype did break the sound barrier, but the project was ultimately scrapped due to safety issues, performance limitations, and the arrival of better aircraft carrier technology. Though the Sea Dart never entered service, it remains one of the most unique jet fighters ever built, a bold but flawed experiment in high-speed seaplane aviation. Antonov A-40 Flying Tank The Antonov A-40, also known as the Flying Tank, was a bizarre Soviet experiment from World War II that attempted to turn a T-60 light tank into a glider. The idea was to create an airborne armoured vehicle that could be towed by a bomber, glide into battle, and be combat ready upon landing, eliminating the need for paratroopers to retrieve their equipment after landing. Designed in 1942, the A-40 featured a pair of massive wooden biplane-style wings and a twin-tail configuration attached to a standard T-60 tank chassis. The tank itself had its armament intact, a 20mm autocannon and a machine gun, but to reduce weight, it was stripped of ammunition, headlights and most of its fuel before flight. During its only test, a Tupolev TB-3 bomber attempted to tow the flying tank. However, the tank's weight was too great, forcing the bomber to cut it loose early. The pilot, Sergei Anokin, managed to glide the tank safely to the ground, where it landed and was driven away. While the A-40 never became operational, it remains one of the strangest aircraft concepts in history, a daring but impractical attempt to merge aviation and armoured warfare. Lifting Bodies Lifting bodies are a unique class of aircraft and spacecraft that generate lift primarily from their fuselage shape, rather than traditional wings. Unlike conventional aircraft, which rely on large wings for lift, lifting bodies have broad, aerodynamically shaped fuselages that act as wings themselves. This design allows for controlled atmospheric flight and landing, making them ideal for spaceplane concepts and re-entry vehicles. Developed primarily during the 1960s and 1970s, lifting bodies were tested by NASA and the US Air Force to explore the feasibility of wingless re-entry vehicles. Aircraft like the Northrop HL-10, M2F2 and X-24 demonstrated how a fuselage could produce sufficient lift for controlled flight and safe runway landings. These designs eventually influenced the development of the Space Shuttle and modern reusable spacecraft like the Dream Chaser. Lifting bodies are typically short, wide and flattened, often with small control surfaces at the rear. This design provides excellent high-speed stability, but can make low-speed control challenging. Their unique structure allows spacecraft to return from orbit and land like an aircraft, eliminating the need for parachutes or splashdowns. With modern advancements in space travel, lifting body designs are making a comeback, proving that their strange yet efficient shape is key to future reusable spaceflight. NASA Helios The NASA Helios was an experimental solar-powered aircraft designed to explore high-altitude, long-endurance flight. Built by AeroVironment as part of NASA's Environmental Research Aircraft and Sensor Technology program, Helios had an ultra-thin, flexible wing structure that set it apart from traditional aircraft. 
with a wingspan of 247 feet, longer than a Boeing 747, it featured a lightweight carbon fiber frame covered with solar panels. Its unusual design lacked a fuselage. Instead, Helios was essentially a flying wing with multiple electric motors mounted along its span. The aircraft was controlled by elevons at the wingtips, allowing for slow but stable maneuvering. On August 13, 2001, Helios set an altitude record for non-rocket-powered aircraft, reaching 96,863 feet higher than any air-breathing aircraft had ever flown. It was envisioned as a potential atmospheric satellite, capable of staying airborne for months to provide communications or environmental monitoring. Despite its groundbreaking success, Helios was lost in 2003 when turbulence caused structural failure over the Pacific Ocean. However, its pioneering solar electric technology laid the foundation for modern high-altitude, long-endurance drones, influencing future designs. Boeing X-48 the Boeing X-48 is an experimental blended-wing body aircraft designed to test a radical departure from traditional tube-and-wing aircraft structures. Unlike conventional planes, the X-48 has no distinct fuselage. Its entire body functions as both the wing and main structure, creating a smooth, aerodynamic shape. Developed by Boeing in collaboration with NASA and the Air Force Research Laboratory, the X-48 was a scaled-down, remotely piloted test aircraft with a wingspan of 20 feet. Its futuristic design aimed to improve fuel efficiency, reduce drag, and lower noise levels compared to standard aircraft. The aircraft featured three small turbojet engines mounted at the rear and no traditional tail section. Instead, it used vertical stabilizers positioned at the wingtips for control. This configuration allowed for greater lift, better fuel economy, and a larger internal cargo or passenger space. While the X-48 never became a full-scale aircraft, its successful test flights provided valuable insights into BWB aerodynamics, paving the way for future fuel-efficient and environmentally friendly aircraft.